Alright, I had some problems with the volume of everything yesterday, so if you can uh, say something, just to kind of make sure that it's set up in the stream properly. Oh, yeah. Unicorn, you there? Do, do you still want to just... Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Just testing the, the sound quality in the street, making sure it's good. got about 15 minutes before the scheduled start time. This is uh, WAPA and GK. They're doing a scrim, and I think they're going to have a lot of people on each side, so we're probably looking at about 15 versus 15. A little different than what we're used to. Hmm. And commenting, oh. we have Black Tide, Master Unicorn, John, who's not here yet, and I believe Serial will be here later. Just arrived at Uriel has joined the channel. Hey, there you are. Well, hi. What are you guys up to? Well, we've got the uh, stream set up and ready to go. And uh, I think we'll be getting started in about five minutes or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, Balian's doing a match. I wasn't sure. We're starting or not. I'll go tell him. Hold Cereal has joined the channel. Hang on, I think I, uh, I shall have to run Brent and Admin, actually. So that's what like. You guys had me excited for a second. I thought you guys were playing Left 4 Dead or something. <laughs> No, I joined this channel because I figured nobody else would. Haven't played these guys in... <laughs> <laughs> Haven't played Left 4 Dead in a year. Has joined the channel. No, I couldn't talk anymore. Hello, you good, sir. Serial. Black time. Guess what? No, I can't. 
for no. me. I refu no, I refuse. Um, pretty please. With a British cherry tea cup on top. No, no, you're not gonna get me this time with that. Code underscore John has joined the channel. Hey, what's up, huh? Hey, Joe. What server is it on, by the way? Um, we're not doing a scrim, Black Tide. We're, <laughs> we're doing some commentary. Yes, but, so uh, the general idea is that you have to watch the script. Mr. Now, X that requires me to get on a server, does it not? <laughs> nah. <laughs> this is commentate wide, right? Exactly. Just the way you said it, it was kind of funny. Though what would be cool is if, like, you could record a show or a match and have it replay in real time on a server. And the bots would do exactly what everyone else did. That would be very cool. I asked, um, what's his name? I asked in the forum about that. About how viable the modders thought. And the, one of the main devs from CRPG, CMDX, blah, 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 who's like ridiculously good at everything, said it would, it would... It's possible, but like not with the module system. It would have to. You'd have to do some ridiculous thing. Oh wow, man, that would be so cool. We'd like do live commentary on bots fighting. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's what I dream about. Yeah. Yeah. In the stream, go. It's there. I'm just uh. Tabbing out for Steam chat just because uh, it might be private. I don't know. Gary. I actually think I'll put it on uh, Do Not Disturb or something. My serious. I just uh, muted the relay volume so it shouldn't uh, interrupt me again. <laughs> <laughs> So we want to approach this National Geographic, or...? What was that? We could, we could do National Geographic commentating. Comes up the wild, GK and the wild, wild those things. Huh. I think that would work. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you know if any of these guys are admins here? I'm sure what server is I know cheese cheese has admin on hand for sure. Is he on right now or I don't see him? Uh no green I mean probably hell. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's important to note that I just saw Red Knight kill somebody as infantry with a spear. It's a once in a lifetime occurrence. <laughs> oh, that is dead. <laughs> Didn't last long. But the glory. Uh, have you guys seen uh, Nom Nom's random plane video? Yeah, well, so that's pretty funny. That National Geographic comment made me think of it. We should do something like that.
that god, it's definitely That's why you lost to the Turks here. By the way, if I randomly disconnect, it's because there's a tornado watch in my area at the moment. So, no worries. It's usually not good. Be safe. Yeah, I'll try. I was actually, uh, I was actually out running, and uh, it started coming in. <laughs> Or about two miles, and I kept on running, and I couldn't see anything, so I was running with my eyes closed, and the rain started coming down really bad, and I tripped and I fell in the mud, and I still couldn't see anything, and that's when I decided, you know, it's been a good run, it's time to, time to go in. Mr. X has joined the channel. Well, hi. I was watching the stream, and then I was like, nah, nah I'll just go in game and watch it there. Because everyone ignored me in stream chat. Oh. <laughs> People actually used to listen to me. Like, the first couple of days I was in Valiant, people respected me, you know. They wanted my advice on stuff. Because I was the Lord of Doth, and I was uh, training people and leading them, and everyone thought I was some sort of super leader. Three days later, <laughs> shut up, Serial. Go over there. The legend of Serial was... Damale. Just, just sit in your corner, what's wrong with you, man? Bad. I'm pretty sure they're not live yet, but there's not a whole lot of communication. I did see some team killing though, so that's a pretty good indicator. That they, uh, that they have started. Oh, they, they have started, okay. No, it's just, it's just... <laughs> I was going to say that they've started and said he got a punch <laughs> kill. Nice. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Right, there's a lot of us in here. So uh, I hear GK's got a got an ace up their sleeve for the managed to recruit Mark. Game change. They recruited Mark. No. Uh, the whole competitive scene is going to be turned upside down. Oh. Uh, beat BKS and everything. Well, uh, BKS already defaulted on. Uh, I got on their match against Lag, so they're losing. Too scared to even turn up to matches these days. Though.
serious pants now, guys. Uh oh. Mr. X go inspect before it was cool. I got money on cheek head on the doors, but we'll see. No, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be different and bet on uh, Wapa. <laughs> I'll bet you a hundred denarii. What say you? Nay, sir. Nay. Nay. Are you afraid? But the random horse in the ring is gonna win, actually. <laughs> this is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rain. All right. I don't know if that one counted, to be honest. That horse was, uh, that was a big game changer. <laughs> That's a uh, coach, right? Midnight? Uh, I think so. Switch to a great sword. Is it locked out? Uh, play with a different name or? I'm pretty sure locked out. Ooh, nice kick. Uh, pretty sure locked out is a new guy. I've never seen him before. Doing really well for a new guy. <laughs> See you, Joey. Hours of uh, practice and intense training on Siege on <laughs> Looks like it's paying off, actually. <laughs> All right. A couple of missed overheads there. Final. So we have uh, two for Kush and one for locked out. That is correct. I get there the choice. Is. That was a pretty impressive uh, duel by Lockdown. Yeah, not bad. Never heard of Lockdown before. I think we're going to have a lot of that tonight. Don't play with a lot of the guys from GK. <laughs> So yeah, it's like a massive scrim. Yeah, pretty big. Getting the Balians in as mercs for GK. <laughs> Watch, they're gonna be a game changer. 
GK isn't actually looking too bad. Uh, I know D-Man248, I know I've dueled against him, and he's really good. He's a good all-around. A couple of these guys I've played with before. I don't know Can and Locked Out. Those guys are new to me. Mm, I, I've seen Can around before, but I'm not entirely sure. But I thought it was a Euro. So I can't remember. One of them is a Euro with a P in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Euros, right, Black? I know they're so confusing. Incredibly handsome, though. No, I'm not. Sure, Now knowing Wapa, I'm guessing there's going to be a random planes map in there. What do you guys? Think? Definitely not. I don't know what you're talking. <laughs> well, that's that's my bet for their map choice. I'm not sure what GK is going to be pulling. Up. Uh, let's see. I predict uh, GK will probably take North Town most likely. Your town is going to be rough with this many people, though. Yeah, it actually yeah. takes a lot of uh, coordination when you have so many people. Of course, Wapas or GK won't need any coordination with Mach on their team. <laughs> gonna do it all. You're saying coordination will be wasted, right? Yeah. If they tried it. Because. I'm going to go grab a Pepsi and beer. This is pretty scenic, if not for the river in the middle. There's almost no cliff textures, though. <laughs> I mean, really, it's not yeah, that a clip, is it? <laughs> it's a bloody rip. I actually like the uh, the river on the plains. I don't find it offensive. Yeah. This is hilly. I so I'd have much rather played that bloody river match that map rather than this one, to be honest. Yeah. So much more flat. <laughs> this is pretty pretty decent. Hills aren't too big and enough to kinda hide behind. This is a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah, it looks alright. Whopper coming out with the cab and a couple of them. GK's really archer heavy, but I can't tell for sure.
Yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell uh, who's on what team. <laughs> Swadium. Yeah. GKM pagers. Bastards are gonna bat me. <laughs> it's uh, 13 versus 13. My name is Surreal, and this is Wapa versus GK. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I don't know, did I miss the entry? I'm sorry. I was getting the peps. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah, the match has started. Oh my god. Wapa has some uh, <laughs> tactics with their horses coming into those uh, archers, tearing them apart. Pretty much expected. Oh, down yeah. the Wapa's really good at uh, Complete moving in up from both sides with horses at the same time, so infantry and archers focusing on one guy will completely miss the dude behind him. Just die. It happens to me a lot. <laughs> now, I missed most of this match. Did I'm thinking GK spread out with little cat. Yeah, they had a, they had a lot of archers uh, going in. Ah. Yeah, once again, we're yeah, seeing, this is gonna be a we're seeing Wapa in here with almost all cav and those Swadian cav, heavy horses. There's not a whole lot they can do with archers and infantry. Just watching these guys come in from different angles all at the same time. Yeah, picking up the extra uh, 500 gold and putting off from their kills, they get even more armor for the next round. They got a couple heavies now, so it's gonna be even harder. Yeah. Looks like Wapa actually has a few less horses this time. They've got a pretty even spread between crossbow infantry and cav. Yeah, GK uh, picked up a lot, a lot more cav than they did have. That's good. We still have a lot of archers down in the open right now. A couple trees down there aren't enough to protect him, so as soon as the... Uh, I don't know, Wapa doesn't have enough, uh, as many cav as they had uh, the last round, so... Hmm, Red Knight taken down by Cant. Ooh, a team kill. Ouch. That was, that was unfortunate. Now the infantry are pushing up. I definitely say uh, GK's got the advantage. Those archers are working. Yeah, the archers are definitely paying off now. Where the cab comes in. Nice teamwork. Not sure what rules uh, they're using. Are they using the new nasty or? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Wampa's pretty much got the same setup. Looks like they have one crossbow with three inf guarding. GK is pr still pretty archer heavy. This is where the Wampa info come in. <laughs> Try and get close to the archers. allow their cab to come in and sweep them up. Very nice round by Wampa. Yeah, just the, uh, just the two deaths. I mean, it looks like GK has a pretty good mix of cap and archers. Oh, looks like he did get a streamer status after all. That'll help a lot. Chair. Coming up right behind those archers. I believe that's the, uh, the swamp. Yeah. Nice runs by WAP. Okay, it does appear that they are playing this out some more, so... I guess they are playing by some different rules. We'll just have to uh, wait and see.
They might be doing the uh, classic first to seven. Maybe. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've seen a first to seven. In here. <laughs> I think the last one was a uh, Balin versus Doff and GK doing really nice. They picked up a lot of Cav and it's like they're dominating a little bit. See that GK picked up uh, a lot of infantry. The spears stopped the Cav. to get the um, spears through the Great Lancer, which is surprising. Uh, this just in from Ron Burgundy. Old, first to five. <laughs> that won't. Not quite a first to seven, but still kind of nice to see it. I think the uh, the first to seven, that old style. I really like that. Yeah, if it was if it was a close game, then he would get uh, he'd get pretty long terms going. That was of course before the uh, Euro invasion. Silly Euros and your Euro weight. No, fan be interesting to see what Wapa does here. Looks like they picked up a lot more crossbow. Yeah, GK has a, has a lot of infantry actually. Two archers, I say. Three archers. It's kind of how I thought it would go. I um, thought that GK would experiment a little bit, see what was effect. That original all archer slash cav wasn't going to work out. I think that might be related to the uh, increase in players for each team. Much less likely to get a standoff at the end. And we probably yeah, won't 16 see a master 16. this entire this entire match. We probably won't see a master of the field. That's actually pretty rare for a, a scrim nowadays to see it not go to master. I like that. Yeah, that's good. There's always action. Not sitting around waiting for three minutes. Got that big clash on this hill. Lots of fighting on top of the hill. Both sides taken a bit of damage. GK mostly. Yeah, those great lances turn apart people. Turn apart the spears. At this point, GK is a bit spread out, easy to pick on.
looks like. GK pretty much has the same setup. Yeah, WAPA also. Couple 3D cav from GK. Oh. Ran straight in the mix. Poor cat. Cav kind of rushing in a little bit there. Now if I was a GK and I saw a great squire like Cad being killed first thing, I'd probably raise my white flag of surrender. <laughs> I wouldn't want to play without my loyal Cad. Nothing got falling. We would surrender and let them make us tea. Both teams yeah, just kind of. They brought biscuits. So. <laughs> oh yes, biscuits and tea. We could both watch the Notebook or something. <laughs> Both sides just kind of skirmishing with the cav. Uh, Wapa taking out a lot of GK. It definitely seemed like Ooh, the GK was cav not rushed there much more than they should have. Yeah. That was a nice shot by Aiden. I don't know if you guys saw it. No. Very nice shot. Right next I would describe it, but. Be like trying to describe rainbows and sunsets and go. Straight into the forehead. <laughs> and now the GK's lost most of their calves, kind of come to the cluster. I think the wipeout at this point could win by sheer numbers, to be honest. As long as they don't get picked. Yeah. I'm seeing wipeouts uh, all around the GK in a circle. I'm assuming they're all going to charge in at the same time. That's what I'm thinking, but... Looks like they're holding off. Maybe a little nervous. D-man's picking a few of them. D-man. I dueled against him in the uh, demand. I always call oh. him demon because I dueled against him in the standard old dueling tournament, and uh, he was really good. And uh, that so was fighting a <laughs> a lapse of attention there from. Uh, Dela, Delian. Slap Cav come straight past him and uh, take out Demon. And there's the Wapa. Wapos. I remember the Balians had a name for that. I don't remember what it is. I believe well, the term Cluster come and then something comes after them. <laughs> 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 Are you all and familiar with the. Uh, with the WAPA jet. Famous. Do you tell. Tell us. Kind of card as a WAPA droid. I don't I'll know. I'll say what, sir. A re-rolls right. What? <laughs> You're all familiar with uh, my pirate jokes, yes. Too They're funny. famous across the... North American competitive scene. For example, black tie. What is a pirate's favorite letter? I have no idea. Just get. Is it? You think it'd be R, but it's C. No. Oh. I. See. <laughs> Now those are real morale boosters. <laughs> I imagine they are. <laughs> Pulled uh, Balian out of a few tricky situations, I'm... Exactly. And, and even all the tournament groups, like uh, the Valorous Knights of Honor. We were fighting the Swedish the other day, and everyone was uh, getting all ragey. 
I just pull out a pirate joke, and what do you know, we win a round or two. <laughs> so as long as I keep my what? material fresh, we win. A, a real uh, value to the team. You're right, uh, yeah. Nordtown. Nordtown, that was favorite. Who guessed that? Who, who, did, who guessed? Because I owe you a hundred denarii. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. I'm, let's see, the last time I saw Nordtown with this many people was probably a year ago. In a big uh, Doff GK match. been in a lot of matches against Dolph, haven't you, sir? Yeah, I, I try to mark against them whenever I can. Oof. Looks like GK's rolling a ton of infantry. I'll push you along the My alley into Ginger. Things are coming ahead there already. <laughs> My father didn't manage to get one of their guys in. GK making a strong push. Yeah, big push into Ginger. And uh, they definitely lost their numbers. That was successful. They definitely took some casualties pushing through there, but. Yeah, Looks like they're gonna try defending there right now as well. Great place to defend, especially if you're not worried about Master of the Field spawning. GK making a push down Ginger. Yeah, they're gonna surprise. Looks like they're <laughs> all in. <laughs> uh, Mark being a game changer. Just as I predicted. <laughs> Man of the... We, uh, we'll just call him Lord Monk. That's a good title. About Master King. Or Lord of the Universe, Monk. God just died. Mark taken down. <laughs> and uh, rolling into the hay there. By red. And now 2v7. Taking that. It's a solid win by GK. Be interesting to see how uh, Wapa responds to the infantry. Looks like GK they're rolling a long with cross. The same, but... the same plan again from GK. Yeah, and lots of infantry from Wapa. Should be good. See a couple hammers in there. Exactly. Listen, once you kill a guy like Can, first thing, everyone else just wants to quit. They don't want to fight anymore. 
Oh, GK. Oh. That only Mr. Alpha X takes down. first. Things are not boating well for GK at this point. <laughs> Wapa, I have, have no eye on that. Jam. Wapa has a firm shield wall right outside their spot. Nice shot. Obviously, stealing tactics from Doth there. Just a big skirmish right now. It's like Red Knight, uh, let's see, Red Knight, Blade, and <laughs> who else is the Wapa Cat? <laughs> Slot? Those guys can be a big Cole game changer. John has left the you channel. Cole underscore John has joined Slug, the channel. Slug, Red, and Blade, keep an eye on Hope I was making a push. Jumping down. It's a good move. They're cutting off all the GK Ow. that went back into uh, Gingerbread. Their move up there was pretty useless. Wop up, jumping down. Smart. GK also has a couple archers in their spawn, but I don't think that's going to make the difference. Suicide mob. I just have to deal with the uh, infantry ball there. Game is still pretty good. That's a lot of infantry. We're doing a good job kind of hanging out together. <laughs> <laughs> like just ran <laughs> through all of them. That was wonderful. Hide in the corner, in the bush. It'll be funny when he uh, pops out of there. Oh man, <laughs> he's jumping. Oh, that's hilarious. Here's the push. It's coming down there. Okay, you got a little spread out there, some running up the stairs. The uh, infantry cluster failed. I would guess that they're going to go away from all infantry, probably have uh, probably a third archers next round. Ouch. Now I guess they, they sure. probably won't be pushing gingerbread, they might push middle or something. Definitely time for a uh, change of plans. Mr. X will not be happy about that. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like the UK still yeah, has they've got a lot of, a lot of, uh, of infantry. infantry still, yep. A lot of throwing weapons coming in to play. Right? They are pushing middle though, which is a much better strategy. Yeah, and actually it looks like they might separate the Wapa that went over to Gingerbread. 
they'll definitely be able to take that out. It's good. Yeah, they're pushing right now. Well, there are a lot of Wawa over in Gingerbread. I see Jesus has a hammer. Yep. I don't see any other on the Rodok team. Kind of surprises me. Wapo reacted remarkably well then. They did. Pulled the big cut off. Yeah, well, they had a, a lot of It was less of a cut off when there were that many of them over there. This heavy cast paying off. Looks like the only GK left are archers. Two archers. <laughs> what is he logged out of? Not enough. Uh, yeah. We salute you, GK. Score is 2 1. Still going, uh, old rule, old nasty rules, I think. First to five. They're still pushing a lot of infantry. Looks like the archers are moved up with him, though. Wapa is down there to meet him. Just a few Wapa. Looks like the rest of Wapa went down to meet up with him. Double team kill by uh, GK. Yeah, team kill. Green Knight's got some hammer. Not sending them back too far. Teams are about even. Uh, Wapa's trying to. That was a pretty fast paced round. Yeah, well, both teams rush the middle. Another infantry push, this one conservative, over by graveyard. Yeah, Wapa's not uh not charging right last time. GK riding one archer by the look of it. That's a beautiful sight. Look at all those infantry. That's just frightening. I wouldn't want to <laughs> rush that. That's just no. too many. That's a scary sight. Looks like they're uh, swamp. Not a lot of action going on. Just... Yeah, they're just hanging back in their spawns. Get another, uh, it looks like anyway. Two minutes of this and we'll get a flag. GK pushing into Ginger. And that is just yeah. an intimidating sight. I would I would run if that came at me in real life. <laughs> it's like Walk is getting set up in both spawns with crossbows. Strategy. Oh, comes the 
your ball to the spawn. GK, not in the best position here, pushing into an enemy, enemy position. Yeah, they got crosses up top. Not looking too good. It was very intimidating though, watching them rush into that spot. Yeah, they've been getting a lot of kills from up on that balcony. Yeah, yeah definitely. Not the smartest game move, but definitely a brave and fearsome looking one. We shall call it the GK rush into enemy position. <laughs> Both teams kind of doing a diff. Looks like a full on chart. UK pushing the middle lanes, good idea. That was a little spread out, so. Things are looking a lot better for GK. Crossbows don't have as Ooh. much power. So Those team kills. GK is pretty spread out over by uh, Wapa's spawn, though. A few of those infantry made a mistake and moved too far in. They got spread out. And the range went to begin. <laughs> hey now, there's uh, lots of storms and crap going. Can never, never mm -hmm. tell. <laughs> oh yes, because I, I hear that uh, those those storms up in Canada. <laughs> you never know. And Red Knight getting the last kill via horse bump. GG's. Apparently that's a good game. And score Wapa 5, GK 1. Good fights put up by GK. I don't, I don't think they were too prepared for Wapa though. Wapa just had really good timing and coordination. Yeah, GK pushing into that spawn at the last round was not too good of an idea. I think next week on Monday there's another uh, big match like this between Wapa and uh, Bellion. Monday night, so that one should be pretty good too. These are much more fun to uh, to watch than uh, our normal scrims because. Like nasty, you and yeah, around, and sitting around for three minutes waiting for something to happen. And <laughs> yeah, if this was a normal, say, 6v6 or 7v7, we'd probably still be sitting here yeah. talking about who's Wait, going what? for master. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Euro. <clears throat> and that, ladies and gentlemen, was this week's stream. Thank you, and come again. <laughs> You need to get Master Unicorn to to commentate because he actually has a really deep voice. Sometimes he's in here. Is he this back? <laughs> Uni, speak. Do, do that voice you showed me. Seriously, it sounds like he's using a voice changer. It's freaky. I guess not. Thanks for uh, commentating, guys. Got Black Tide, John, Master Unicorn, and Serial on here. That was fun. That was fun. Tell a, a pirate joke to, joke to end on. That's what the viewers want to. Well, 
Let me ask you, viewers, why is pirating so addictive? <laughs> because once you lose your right hand, you get hooked. Oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we will see you next time. 